Hello and welcome to this big NDTV exclusive with Assam Chief Minister Himanta Baswa Sarma. Thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us, Himanta Da, because uh, we are having this interview of yours here in Guwahati in the Chief Minister's office. But your footprint is now expanding beyond the borders of the Northeast. From Guwahati to Gujarat, you seem to be on the rise and you're making news. Now, this is not the first time that you've campaigned, by the way, for BJP in other elections, right? It's just that this time, for some reason, you are more viral today. But you have already campaigned in the past. I think... You, you have campaigned in the past. I think, I think uh, the, the matter of... The, the factual metric is that hmm. all the chief minister of campaign. any political party campaign in other states whenever there is election. So, I don't know. Media is little generous towards me, so <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The thing is that to, to get attention, to make headlines is fine. But it is the manner in which it is made, that is where the question arises. And some of the things you said, for example, when you brought up that entire thing where, you know, the gruesome murder of Shraddha Walkar, and you use that to make what can be seen as communally loaded divisive barbs about Aftab, about love jihad. You as see. a chief minister, is that appropriate? You see, for you, it is a communally loaded statement. Hmm. For any left liberal, it is a communally loaded statement. But for me, hmm. this statement was made in the national interest. But what is love jihad? What is the what, see, uh, what, what, how do you even define love, something like a love jihad? Uh, love jihad has been defined by Kerala High Court in its judgment. Love jihad is a very, very important issue for us even in Assam. Because this love or so-called love is yeah. made with certain specific purposes. When the purposes are not fulfilled, huh. you, 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 you see the faith like Shraddha. Sir, I just, want to, I just want to push back on this because, you know, we've studied this at great length. And yeah. frankly, there appears to be virtually no evidence of something uh. of, of the existence of love jihad. Now, right. let's, let's just look at the Shraddha case, for example, right? Just because the victim is a Hindu and the perpetrator or the accused is a Muslim, you are labeling it as love jihad. But in the same month, let me finish the question. In the same month, you have countless examples of horrific acts of violence against women in the same nature. I'll just give you an example. In UP in Azamgarh, a young man called Prince Yadav and his cousin Sarvesh are accused of chopping his partner Aradhana Prajapati into pieces. In West Bengal, the family of Ujwal Chakraborty killed and hacked his body into pieces. UP again in Mathura, police arrested the parents of 21-year-old Ayushi Yadav. They killed her and stuffed her body into suitcase in pieces. Now, what, what jihad is yeah. this? Yeah, you see, you will cite certain examples which mm -hmm. are suitable to you. And I will cite examples or mm -hmm. the reality mm -hmm. which going to prove that lab jihad is a is not a concept, it is a reality. Can this Shraddha's case is also linked up with appeasement. When there was a Sip Sena Congress government there in the Maharashtra, huh. in 2020, Shraddha lost an affair. Now, as you know, under the law, no affair can be withdrawn by anyone. Sir. Yes, tell me. No, this, no, I'm saying, sir, what, what I think is happening here is that the very unfortunate nature of how crimes are perpetrated against women in our society, which cuts across all communities, you see, is yeah, being given you, a communal spin see, without any evidence. No, you, you see that as a crime against women. I see that is a combination of lab jihad, combination of appeasement, and combination of crime against women. Again, when you talk about lab jihad, I mean, I can... We can go into example after example, coming from the government itself. In February 2020, Home Ministry response in Parliament, the term love jihad is not defined by existing laws. No such case of love jihad has so been reported is, by no, any no, of the central no, agencies. That is, a, that is a question. We are asking now to define the term of love jihad because we are convinced that love jihad is a reality even when you go the polygraphic trace of Aftab. He yes. said, I did something which will put me in Jannat. 
you 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 hear his statement at least on media it has Sir, been reported I now can, you I, tell me I, I you talked about assam you said there's a problem in assam we actually filed we filed rtis to find out what the problem is in assam this is some of the response this we got just in june of this month if this year in response to your rti application the point required information is as follows there is no definition regarding love no. jihad under law Shilibasa, no such I, case has been registered think, in kokrajhar district this is no, only no, from no, kokrajhar no. district i think i no no i ab dekh lijiye aap ka state hai zarurat nahi ye bahut bada koi valuable piece of paper nahi hai let me Achha, let me answer okay. you first of all what is our argument we said that love jihad is a reality now we are requesting government of india hmm. show a mandate right. that time has come to define love jihad now now i think you will see hmm. lot of administrative and legislative action okay. where the term love jihad will now be defined okay. so far we have ignored we say that love jihad is not existed right. but we have many evidence in our state and yes. elsewhere that is why people support when we call talk about love jihad but sir and is now, that when you say there is evidence yes. i don't want to spend too much time on this yes. but but really the question is where is this we, evidence because we, we are all of these turn uh, out to be examples of yes. either interfaith no, no. relationships for, for eu interfaith relationship or something it is very easy to uh, explain for me hmm. when something is, is done and there is a intention of uh, actually uh, con converting her faith and other related issue yes. all these broader terminology will come under lab jihad where was the there was where was the proof of conversion in this case 100 you no, no, want in this case that no, you are citing no, the shanda case there is no proof of conversion No, no, but there's so, no proof of conversion. No, no. After he said in polygraph test that I would have got in place, sir, I will get a, place in a jannat. Sir, these are. This is a case under investigation. No, nothing no, is. No, nothing no, has been proven think, in a court I of law. So. Anyway, oh. let's then. I'll. I'll. Okay. I'll. Let I'll me, tell you. On. I'll tell you one thing. Isn't for that... for you? These are very. You will interpret in a different way. I will interpret in a lab jihad way. that is the clash between right and left no, no, that no, is sir, the clash between liberalized and civilizational no, values no, no, and sir. it will continue no no sir this is not a clash between right no, and left yes. this is a this is a clash between facts and no, no, no. and is, provocative no, no, unproven no, no, no. claims no, no. <laughs> let let you be clear you be clear in mind okay. what is fact and provocative it will be decided by the people of by gujarat the... not by srinivasan jain okay fair enough but would you still concede that this kind of rhetoric is what the congress no no, no let me just finish the question the accusation is that the bjp has ramped up this kind of rhetoric in order to bring a communal dimension to the election because very soon after you made these comments you have amit shah saying home minister no less going around saying that the 2002 we taught such a lesson to the rioters that there has been no such riot again that is a factual statement but what is what is the lesson i mean that the government thought is the go government conceding no, no. that Gormen, they were involved in no, the no. riots Gom, government of gujarat has acted very strongly mm -hmm. in 2002 and post 2002 okay. that there is now no curfew in gujarat no riots in gujarat okay. and gujarat has seen a unprecedented development post 2002 hmm. because gujarat government has handled the communal element with okay. iron hand but what is the lesson that is being given that lesson when but when thousand, you but thousand people died in the riots no, no, i think i think you are you are linking something x and y together okay. riot is a issue which is in judiciary but gujarat government has taken series of action to act in hmm. accordance with law to curb various people uh, to curb the various action of people okay who frequently created communal classes in gujarat who has engineered riots in earlier pre 2021 Which 2022 are, who are these people are we talking about you're talking about all presumably all communities you right you know you know whom we are talking and and we are not shy about that 
You are you are talking we of are, Hindus no, no, and we are, Muslims. We are talking about rioters. No, no, but we rioters are, in the Gujarat riots, both communities rioted. No, no, you are thousand you are, people no, no, died. You are you 800 are eight hundred Muslims, no, no, two hundred no, no, Hindus. No, no, yeah. 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 You are only what Home Minister has said that post two thousand two. हमने ऐसे सबक सिखाया और गुजरात में कभी रायत वगैरह नहीं हुआ से 2002 में सबक सिखाया 2002 से शुरू हो गया ना 2002 से सबक सिखाना शुरू हो गया वेरी क्लियर अबाउट हु यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट किस आई नो यू नो हु नो नो वाई डोंट इफ आई इफ यूर सो क्लियर आई एम आई एम अगेंस्ट इन दाउज इन रायत सो यू मीन ऑल कम्युनिटीज आई मीन You, when I say that those who are who indulge in riot, okay, and Hindu normally doesn't uh, contribute in riots. That's an extraordinary statement that you made. Is, that is a statement because. But, but in Gujarat, sir, hold on. Eight hundred Muslims were killed. You see, Srinivasan. You are saying Hindus don't Hindu, indulge in riots. Hindu as a community, we don't believe in jihad. So Hindu as a community, we believe in peace. Hindu How would you as explain a, what happened in Gujarat? That, that for judiciary is to explain. That not for me because case diaries are with judiciary. No, no, but but I right am talking about Hindu. I am talking about Hindu community. Yes. Hindu community is extremely peace loving. None of the Hindu scripts are the concept of jihad is available. Sir, this is this is now this is now getting into some philosophy. I am saying on the ground. You've had a riot in Gujarat. Eighty percent of those who were killed were Muslims. Hindus have been convicted for those no, de- for those murders. No, no, are, no, How no, can you turn no, around no, and say that A or B that, community no, no. is not does not no, participate no, no. in many, riots? During the riot, many things have been said by NDTV. No, no, sir. No, 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 convictions no, no. in the court of law. This no, is not NDTV. But no, I'll tell you, many things has been said during the riot by NDTV. Mm-hmm. But Supreme Court ha- has now come out with clear judgment yes. that. Whatever you have said about Narendra Modi, that's that's were not correct. Not talking about Narendra Modi. You said Hindus are said not capable Hindu, of uh, uh, part, normally, indulging in normally, riots. Normally, I'm saying, I, I, where is the I have I have that? qualified the word. Okay. Hindu normally doesn't indulge in any riot in any communal classes because we do not talk in that way. We are completely believe But in the peace. The history, sir, of every communal clash or riot in this country involves both communities, right? I mean, That's why it's I mean, a riot no, because you have I both think, sides. I think, I think, then you have to go to the history. Who, okay, who let's begins, let's let's not initiate it. All these things okay, you have to go not, to the history. Let's not go to the history. But when you say that you took a tough stand against the rioters, you have a situation, sir, where you have eleven men who were convicted of the gang rape and murder of Bilkis Banu who are released prematurely. What is, kind of what no, kind of signal I are you are you sending past, about about past, getting tough with rioters? First of all, those things are under examination of the Supreme Court of India. Whether it has been released legitimately or not legitimately, that will be examined by the court. I know, but isn't it prima facie to you but something I, that I, that I, that I, you I, that are you shocked I, by? Do you disapprove no, of it? No, I think I think uh, there is a standard procedure is late. Mm-hmm. If the government has acted according to the procedure late, mm-hmm. then there is nothing to be solved. But if government has not acted according to the procedure laid down for peril, sure. then definitely Supreme Court will come down. No, no, but sir, so many decisions taken by other governments, including Congress and opposition governments, just because the government has taken a decision, that's that's not something you'd accept. No, but why would you but, accept but, this? But my problem is when the matter you have raised the matter. Yes. Now matter is under examination of Supreme Court. Hmm. Why you raise all these questions to influence the proceeding, sir? This has got nothing to do with the Supreme <laughs> Court. We raised the issue. We no, no no. We reported on this issue from when they were released. You see, it's another you matter have, that now it has come you, to the court. You have reported the issue. Influenced by your reporting, somebody has gone to the Supreme Court. Supreme I'm, Court of India. I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, 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 very, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm very uh, flattered that you think our reporting has so much influence. Yes, it, 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 it will have. Now, influenced by your reporting, somebody has gone to the court, okay. and Supreme Court of India has taken cognizance of this particular issue. Now, why you keep on raising this issue, sir? You raised when I say you, the BJP took out a, the 
the Ayodhya matter has been in the courts for yes, decades. decades. The BJP has taken out, took out an entire yatra no, 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 asking for a mandir. No, because, so I'm no, no, just because something no, no, is in I'll, court I'll, I'll tell you. doesn't mean that it's no, not debated no, no, and discussed no, no, in the public there, domain. There is a two dimension of it. A criminal matter or an individual matter yes. and a larger cause. It's larger cause has a different no, dimension. And this particular no, no, that is parody. Not hair splitting. You're now talking of sub judice. So I'm saying that even that was sub judice. No, no, that was okay. not sub judice. But you I'll, don't think. I'll, I'll again tell you these cases, whether government has acted legitimately or not legitimately, you have to see the file and you have to appreciate yes, the position. You're, you're a, you take political. I'm now saying Supreme that on the political India, level. Supreme Court of India has released. The convict of Rajiv Gandhi murder case. Yes. Now, will you accuse Supreme Court of India also? I am asking you on Bilkis because that no, has no, been no, cleared no, by no, the no. that was that Bilkis no, 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 was not released by the Supreme Court. No, no. I am I am talking about Rajiv Gandhi murder case. Yes. Now, the Rajiv Gandhi murder accused has been released. Yes. By the Supreme Court of India, although they were they were convicted yes. for life. Yes. Now, why not you do two or three programs criticizing Supreme Court of India? We have done programs on that, but are you no, trying no, to say no. two wrongs justify right? No, no. Uh, that is why I tell what you no, no, see no, wrong. Saying. No, no, but then is, no, it, is my, it two my, wrongs justifying no, no. a right? Uh, what I am saying, what you are thinking as a wrong, Supreme Court might think tomorrow as a correct. Okay. Let me ask you so something let, which is not let, in court. Uh, which one? Which is not in court, where you have... Another riot convict, Manoj Kukrani, he is convicted in the Narodia Patia riot case. Again, Gujarat riots 2002. He is campaigning for his daughter, who is a BJP candidate. Yes. He himself is coming but for the BJP candidate. functions. He is being garlanded. No, no, he is being fed. No, no, he is being. He is a convict in a riot no, no, case. But, but don't, do, don't, don't, is there is any law in right. the country that if you are out of prison, hmm. you cannot go to hear an election meeting? No, to campaign for so the BJP. What is wrong? He is not candidate. No, no, but you have no, the BJP has no problem with the riot convict campaigning for the party? In BJP public meeting, one lakh people come. Huh. Now, do we get a character certificate from each and everyone? Okay. And even I have con campaigned for that girl. Be so much educated girl, so much... Uh, so there's a difference between you campaigning and oh, someone yes. who's a riot convict? No. As I told you, a riot convict, yes. do you have any law in this country that they cannot silently support a party or they cannot attend any meetings? There are so many convicts so, who so have been is, released from the... This is a purely day. a matter of law. This has nothing to do with political morality, no, no, ethics. Because he is not candidate. No, he is not candidate. Now, okay. BJP cannot go in a public meeting and say, look, okay. you give your character certificate to attend in our meeting. Okay. Is this, is this, Himantada, listening to you, it's, it's almost hard to imagine that you were once in the Congress. These views that we are hearing from you, is this really the, the real Himanta? No. Viswa, I mean, or is this something which has now become a political change of hearts I, that I, since you've come Pastor, to the BJP I have, I now have, you have kind I of have, become this I have Hindu on, uh, two things I have on figure. record I have on record many times says that I have wasted 22 years of my life in Congress hmm. so what has happened during the Congress I have forgotten because now coming to BJP... No, no, I can understand if you feel that the Congress was politically going nowhere. But at the ideological level... Right. What, what I mean, is that ideology? No, no, everything that you're saying, so I'm what sure is, is not... Is, is, are not things you would have no, said which, when you were in the which Congress. One, which one I said wrong? I said that Hindu is a peaceful community. In Congress, people will say Hindu is not a peaceful community. I said that okay. Bilkis Banu's case is now in Supreme Court. Okay. As an advocate, I know... When a matter is in particular matter is in right. Supreme Court, do not discuss about that because you have a faith in judiciary. Right. Do in Congress we have a different view? Okay. Now so you're in, saying everything in, you're in, saying is in, in the Congress. Congress party really, you will see many people who are involved in Delhi Six riot. Right. They present in dais. So what was the Congress policy on riots? Okay, so you're saying that there's actually no ideological shift in the position you've taken. But if you're looking at what is happening in Assam is, as well. There is an ideological shift. In Congress, we used to worship a family. Now we worship country. Now you're worshiping the country. Okay, that is the ideological shift. But if you look at also what is happening in Assam, 
And there is this concern that this kind of bulldozer model of politics, which is started in Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath, has spread everywhere. You have bulldozed, I believe, a number of madrasas here, right? Now, hold on, let me finish. Your argument may be that this is because there is some terror link. But again, because you say you're a lawyer, how is that due process of law? There has not been a there has not been a conviction. There has not been any conclusive. How do you bulldoze a property on an allegation? You 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 have not seen that we have also removed many temple for the construction of road. Why NDTV do not take cognizance of the fact that BJP government also removed temple when it is required for expansion of road? But this morning, but this bulldozing has not happened because of expansion of road. You have claimed it is because of terror link. First of all, you must know that bulldozing has been done with the full consent of the local people. Local people has given us either in written hmm. or they themselves bulldoze the madrasa because they think that that madrasa has become now headquarter of Al Qaeda. So if they have done that, that's illegal. You can't Why? just bulldoze a structure on a suspicion. Those, those who has constructed the madrasa, if they themselves no, bulldoze. No, no, but I'm not talking of that. The state government has state demolished. The government has done in accordance with law. How? That's exactly that what I'm trying to understand. Law. We are following law. But what is the law which says you can bulldoze a structure a when law. the case is still under we investigation? Are, we, we, we have bulldozed the madrasa, nothing to do with case, but okay. we have bulldozed the madrasa okay. with full consent of the people who have constructed, constructed the madrasa. And in one or two cases, we have acted completely according to the law of this land. But overall, when you talk of the law of the land, as a chief minister, you're a constitutional authority. You are supposed to be a CM of all people. That is the BJP slogan, Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas. But listening to you, do you think people would get that impression? Are you the CM of all of I all Assamese? I think people, Hindus, people, Muslims, people, everybody. People will get the impression that NDTV is actually not a pro-Hindu. <laughs> NDTV doesn't support Hindu. No, no, not NDTV has no, nothing to do with I this. Think, I'm asking think, you. I'm think, asking you. I think my own assessment looking at you, okay. you are too much against Hindu. No, no, why? I'm not against because A or B. You criticize every Hindu issue. No, no, no. We are, you, sir, you we are say only, Hindu we are is only by the law. No, no, not at all. I never said that. I said we are only by the by going by the law, by facts, no, and no, by the constitution. No, no. You you quote selective law. When there is a demolition of temple, you will not do any progress. Because I said that this has nothing to do with a civic issue. You demolish these madrasas no, on a different is, allegation, on I, terror allegation. When, and when I was questioning a, that. When a democratically elected government will bulldoze a madrasa, yes. you be res, rest assured it will be in accordance with law. We are not going to bypass the law. Okay, you're not going to bypass the law, but tell me in conclusion that when one sees you make these statements, when also one sees you campaign in Gujarat, are we seeing a wider footprint for Himanta Biswa? Because, because no, 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 because I'm saying it's not earlier. You were, of course, Chief Minister Assam. You were also looking after the Northeast. But now there are, for example, in Goa, where the Congress collapsed, a vast number of them defected to the, to the BJP. The Congress alleged that you were involved. Very Aap, happy. Aapka phone aaya tha. You, achha, called, achha. you called MLAs So there. if I contribute in any way in collapsing the Congress, it will be good for me. I am serving but a national you, cause. But did you? I think, yeah, I, I, I help wherever it is required. Hmm. In Goa case, I don't know. But wherever any Congress people meet me, hmm. they, they say they say that kya hoga dada. Hmm. Ambula, chola BJP ao. <laughs> that is a my Many, common but SOP. You, but did you do that in Goa? Were you in touch with the Goa MLA? Me, Were you involved may, with the... Goa may probably Goa one or two MLA might have asked my advice. They I mean, bula join karo. I don't know, I do not remember. Okay. But wherever, if today, yes. if you also after this interview ask me advice, should I join BJP? Hmm. I'll ask, say yes, join BJP. No, but coming to Goa, was it just advice? The allegation is that money was paid, no, funds were paid. I think, I think, I think you see, hmm. no MLA will take money for joining any party. Neither BJP will give a MLA money for joining because BJP MLA has no will dart. Not take money for joining a party. They, they, will, they will not. I have not seen in my political life because the MLAs will always join in a political party okay. when he is frustrated with the leadership of that party or his constituency people advise him. Third, 
he has a real reason of joining. So this I is do again not an think. extraordinary claim because we I, had because countless examples I, where MLAs have, have alleged the steam tapes, the video has been, the audio has been recorded of cash from being negotiated. 2000, from 2001 to 2022, in my large you vast never public seen money being taken. at least in case of Assam, I have never so seen exchange about, of money. What about in Jharkhand when Congress MLAs were arrested? Jharkhand Congress MLAs yes. were arrested in West Bengal with cash. The allegation is again, accusation was but, made that but, it was you. But the MLAs has said that this is our money. We have gone to buy, buy something, sari and other aarup product. Tha that you I, were... Mera upar aarup lagane se mera kya problem hai? Lagao na aarup. But, Usse, is it, but is there any basis to it? Kya fayda kya hai? Me, I am in Guwahati. Okay. Something is happening in Calcutta. Something is happening in Guwahati. Aarup mera upar laga raha hai, mera profile bada raha hai. If somebody is helping me, what is my problem? <laughs> okay. But these all people but you are my well wishers. Okay. They but are hell bound in improving the aura of Himanta Vishwa Sharma. But you are saying that you, anyone approaches you to, to leave the Congress. I will immediately say that do it immediately. Do it immediately. Yes. You think that there is no hope for the Congress at all? Absolutely no. Rahul hope. Gandhi, who you, by the way, compared to Saddam Hussein. Uh, I said his looks, not Looks him. which the Congress said that you sound like a troll. It's a, it's a, that's troll? a troll know. is someone who just does gali galoch uh, at a very Mera shallow level. Advice diya hmm. Mene bola hon, bhai, katlo, you look like Nehru. अगर किसी को मैं इतना बढ़िया एडवाइस दिया हूं कि यू लुक लाइक योर ग्रैंडफादर इसको ट्रोल बोलता है क्या बट सदाम हुसैन अभी नो नो बट आई एम सेइंग द सदाम हुसैन कमेंट वाज सीन एज ट्रोलिंग राहुल अभी मैं कोई इसको नहीं बोल रहा हूं कि आप सदाम हुसैन जैसा ही देखते हो मैं बोला अनफॉर्चूनेटली यू आर लुकिंग लाइक दिस बट जस्ट कट योर यू सेव योरसेल्फ यू विल बी लुक लाइक जवाहरलाल नेहरू अगेन यू से सदाम हुसैन सम विल से दैट इज अगेन कम्युनल सिग्नलिंग यू यू विल यू डिनाई Look, Rahul, Rahul looks beautiful. He's a glamorous person. But as of now, you both compare photo compare karke dekho. Then you question. So you're saying Congress no hope, even though Rahul is on this Bharat Jodo Yatra, they claim they're getting huge traction. But, you're not but, impressed? But they are doing Bharat Jodo Yatra in Madhya Pradesh. Where is Madhya Pradesh? He was not in Bharat. They are walking through Tamil Nadu saying Bharat Jodo. Tamil Nadu is an integral part of India. No, no, they're saying because of the BJP is dividing the country ah, on, on BJP, communal, is creating communal BJP, rifts and that's ah, why they're doing B, Joro. Look, they are saying Bharat Joro. BJP is not saying Tamil Nadu is not part of India. Okay. BJP is not saying Assam is not part All of right. India. Rather, BJP is saying every soil of this land is India. Okay. So, uh, you can do a jatra against unemployment. You can do a jatra for harmony. You can do a jatra for such Bharat. Okay, what so is this theme of Bharat Joro? Okay. I tried Still to not... demystify it many times. But you couldn't understand it. Not. Last question to you. When we see, as I said, you are, you are much more visible on the national stage. You came to Delhi. You had a big program for uh, Lachit Bharpukan, who is a historical Assamese figure, the Prime Minister, etc. Over there. We see you actively in Gujarat. There are these allegations that you are involved in other state governments, whether you deny it or not. Are you eyeing a more national role you for see, yourself? You see, we have a lot of work to do in Assam. Serving Assam at this critical juncture. That's not, you didn't serving, answer my question. I'll answer you. Serving India because my service and even your service is needed for Assam. Okay. So we go to Delhi, we go to Gujarat as a simple career cut of BJP. This is not a sign that. Imanta Biswa is, is rising think, in the I BJP think, ranks, think, is emerging as one of the national faces. I, see, I, I don't see all these things because okay. tomorrow election will be completed. People will forget whoever has gone to, who has gone to Gujarat or not. People will remember only Narendra Modi. <laughs> so, so these are only... People will only are, remember Narendra Modi, nobody. Be, because Narendra okay. Modi is the person who will bring development to Gujarat. Okay. So, or India. Okay. So, kun gya, kun nahi gya, this will, will be a matter of history. On the day, new CM will take oath. People will talk about him. Okay. And then people will talk about Narendra Modi rightly. Right. Who has gone to campaign or not, people will, will never, never even, will it, that will not even come into their memory. Okay, spoken as bluntly as ever, but thank you very much indeed. Himanta Dafu talks. Thank you very much. <laughs>